Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In today's video, we are going to explore Gretel AI. So Gretel AI is a platform that helps us generate synthetic data. So it's a synthetic data generation platform. So we are going to also see that what are the other features that Gretel currently provides. So they have multiple features like generating synthetic data and also you can use the, some of the models that they have to train on uh, that generated data or also on your custom data that you have. Right? So it provides multiple features you know, that we can leverage. And nowadays synthetic data generation has been entrained due to generative AI because one of the most prominent use cases of generative AI is to generate synthetic data. Now that can be, you know, generated design, for example, now you have multiple designs like cloth materials, your in automotive, you have car designs, etc. How you can use this fascinating technology to generate designs which, designs which don't exist, right? Maybe you can use uh, large language models to generate CSV data, tabular data, for example, you can ask Chad GPT that, hey, here is my data model. This is how it looks like. These are the columns and I need 1000 record on, on, on to generate a CSV file. You get a Python code and you just execute that Python code. And based on your data model, these generative AI models will kind of generate the data for you. It's extremely you know useful when we talk about, you know, generating uh, synthetic data. It has huge cases in industries like BFSI in general, banking, finance, insurance, and you know in these industries because, for example, I'll just take an example of fraud detection, where you want to train a machine learning model. You would like to have a data from the banking or financial institutions. They would not like to share that data with you because those are confidential data, right? Those are all their customers' data, right? So in that cases, it's better to have some kind of mechanism that will help you generate synthetic data so you can train a machine learning model to you know uh, detect fraud similarly you can also see some of the use cases in anti money laundering you know tool that's called aml system or tool because money laundering is kind of combination of different sub components like because there are rerouting there are financial documents there are you know money has been divided into smaller chunks and have been you know uh, have been laundered through different banks and ngos example that's that's for example right so how you can you know use this data to generate okay, some synthetic data on top of this and then you use that to train a machine learning model for your task right so that's that's how generative ai is currently being used in industry and synthetic data generation has been the huge cases that the clients are looking at apart from the tasks that we do like chatbots conversational ai you know knowledge gpt or whatever gpt that we call it right it's domain specific gpt that we call so that's why we're going to explore in this video and we'll also programmatically see that how we can use Gretel AI API, you know, to set up a workflow, take a sample data like a bike bio data that we have. Okay. And I'll show you on the GitHub repository. It's completely interesting. It's very interesting as well. Like they have a GitHub repository they, on their platform. They have good documentation. Maybe we can follow that to, you know, generate, generate some synthetic data. So in this, we have identified a huge case guys. Okay. Uh, like we'll see that how we can, you know, take a sample data for example and on that we can uh, we can have a look at the personal identifiable information that's called PII right because if you talk about countries like you know GDPR uh, countries like you know the European countries and also in the United States there are regulations and if you talk about EU for example they have uh, uh, they have GDPR for example which is global data protection regulation which falls under EU you know, just to protect the privacy data privacy rights for the EU citizens, right? And if you talk about uh, mainly the CCPA, which is California Consumer Privacy Act, which is mainly for if it is an US state law to protect the data and privacy rights for the California citizens, right? So there are multiple regulations, and that's why you will see also see the trend of uh, uh, privacy preserving AI that's called PPAI. Nowadays, a lot of algorithms are being you know trained like that, that how we can use. Uh, these models mainly to have a uh, to, to protect the data protection and privacy right because clients are not looking at uh, these things because these are all being audited and there are a lot of compliance related to it it's kind of regulatory norms are there when you when the clients are operating in Europe and also in the US that's where these kind of techniques helps from the data standpoint and also when you go to modeling with when we use PPAI for example that's what we're also going to you know uh, basically 
see in this, you can currently see I am on this Gritl website. It says the synthetic data platform for developers. And it says generate artificial data sets with same characteristics as real data. So you can develop and test AI models without compromising privacy. Privacy is extremely important nowadays, guys, because the, the you can see the speed right uh, of this technology being coupled. You see, not not weeks or not months. It's every day we see some kind of models are being released in you know in this ecosystem of generative AI that we are talking about. So it's very it's very important now to that we look at the data privacy of our, our consumers or the clients that we are working with. So you can see a lot of companies are already working with you know greater AI. Okay, HSBC and you know SAP for example and a lot, lot of others as well. Let me just give you a walkthrough guys, okay, what I'm talking about it. So, you know, we, if you see that it says synthetic data is the future of AI and I do believe that, okay, you want to generate x-ray data from NIH data set, go on Kaggle, take an NIH sample data set, then use some kind of GAN models, you know, to generate on top of that, you can also do that. But then you can also use platforms like Gretel to, you know, generate synthetic data on top of data that we already have. So, how does this work, guys? Right. So it's based on algorithms and statistical models, right? That we have. It looks at the patterns, the characteristics, and the relationship between your data that you have. So th th there are different use cases, and the use cases that we are going to look at is, is the second one, which is protecting private and confidential data, right? So basically on the PII, right? So that's what we're going to look at in in this video, guys, right? So for GDPR, data privacy, training AI ML models mitigating bias as well so it's a it's a two-way sword guys right when you talk about bias so when you generate synthetic data okay it can also generate bias data okay if you haven't defined your data model in a way that it should you know it will handle that bias but it can also help you reduce the bias you know uh, the nature of bias in your data that you have because that's completely depend on the data model that you define and then you generate the data so these are the tools and the stack Okay, uh, this, this tool and stack that you can see here, it says, uh, we can also see Gretel, for example, we see beta data, we see uh, Y data, a lot of other companies who are working with the, you know, structured privacy preserving synthetic data and trust me, PPAI is the go forward, right? It's privacy preserving AI, a lot of big companies are working and if you are watching this video, if you are just, you know, if you are, just, if you are a data scientist or a machine learning engineer, you know, I will recommend you to have a look at PPAI if you haven't you know, explode it. And when you talk about structured synthetic data, you can, you know, you can see a lot of uh, organizations are doing like, for example, Gen Rocket or Informatica, which also helps you generate synthetic data. And on unstructured, which is very important. So we have Synthesis AI, which have just, you know, uh, got up the hype recently with generative AI. You know, we have UI AI, we have Jumo Labs, a lot of other companies who are doing it, Neuro Labs, for example. Okay, so our focus is on that, how we can, you know, leverage uh, this Gretel AI and to build something. This is what we are going to do. So you can see this is a uh, website. You know, come down, you'll see 150B record synthesized, you know, SDK downloads, blah, blah, blah. You know, train validate generate all this documentation and you know everything, the information you can find it over here on the website. Now, here's the GitHub repository. And as we are focusing more on the GDPR part in this video, you know, in the next video, I'll also use something to, you know, compare uh, the machine learning model performance on the uh, synthetic data and also the, the real data, the actual data that we'll have. That will come in the upcoming video, guys. For, but in this video, our focus is to set up a greater workflow, you know, and generate some kind of data. You know, we use the classified, transform, and synthetics. I'll explain that through different steps when, I'm, when I start writing the code. So this is the purpose of this video guys that how we can leverage greater gdpr helpers to set up a workflow and generate some kind of data on top of it this is the whole purpose and if you come over here you can see generative models to automatically anonymize data to meet gdpr and ccpa standards documentation are given how to install you know how to you know add your api keys blah 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 you can have a look at that as well Okay, so I'll give the link in the description of this GitHub repository on GDPR helpers and let's jump in. So here you can see I don't have any projects here. Now it says new project, create your first project. Uh, it's on Gretel dashboard. You just have to do a Google login to get the access to the dashboard. Okay, it's completely gives you in free. You can see you need an API key that I already have here in the notepad. So that's what you need. 
and you can see they have you know you can also use this cloud interface because it's again running on some kind of cloud here so generate synthetic data create highly accurate synthetic training data so you can also select here and generate just directly on this on this interface itself you don't have to do it programmatically if you don't want to do that then you can also connect to any normalized sql database now you have some sql database where you already have some kind of data format or something right you can just connect it to there and then you can also generate custom images it's in, it's in early access but it's really fascinating right to now generate custom images now you have some sample image that can be any domain specific now you want to generate some custom images on top of it you can also leverage this generate custom images uh, feature from a gradle now create probably private versions of sensitive data like tabular dp and new graph based genetic models which is i really looking forward to it you know maybe in some upcoming videos when i explore it fully i'll i'll create one video on this guys on graph based genetic model which is we also i'm doing some research on how to combine graph neural networks with large language model to do something in these areas and it's really interesting and then we have generate natural language text using gpt generative pre trained transformer which has been in hype due to chat gpt nowadays right so generate natural language text also using gradle and redact pii personal identifiable information now what does pii means like you know your your name your maybe for example credentials you know something like that it all falls under pii right you can also redact that right if you want to you know sanitize and do that as well or replace with something else you can also do that so yeah, this is the dashboard i am on the project i don't have any project i will do it programmatically maybe for example so let's do that so you can see i am on this uh my google collab notebook and here i will just start writing it so let me just first do one thing let me just uh, i think i close that gdpr helpers i have to go inside this and i'll just i'm just going to clone this guy so i'm just going to click on this i'm going to come here and i'm just going to clone this repository inside this runtime environment of google collab which is github http i have to write git clone by the way sorry so git clone git clone and http is github.com gritl ai gdpr helpers dot git or git so let's run this now once i run this you will see that it says cloning and it has cloned it now here comes on the left hand side just do a refresh you will see the folder here called gdpr helpers now if you you know uh, maximize or extend the gdpr helpers you know you will see something there you know you have data so if you click on data let me just show you there okay so you have data here so this is the data that we are looking at currently right adventure works bike buying this is the data that we will take and say hey look now you generate the synthetic data okay use some kind of gan models there and follow the gdpr compliant okay and take care of it right so now we'll get a, a data there a uh, synthesized or generated data that whatever you call it so they have other, other data as well google meet my company and my trace synthia electronics something but i'm going to use this adventure works bike buying data set now if you come on examples you will have some files you know of course you can have a look at that files anonymize files py and something like you know anonymize files collab okay so we are basically going to load these modules okay so now let's do that so what i'm going to do here now is i'm going to just do cd and let's go inside it so cd gdpr okay excuse me helpers this is what i'm going to do and in this only let me just do a pip install as well so pip install so whatever requirement is required you know all these uh, required libraries and modules you know that's what we have to do in this video guys right so let's do that as well let me just turn off the volume of my monitor so pip install and then we're going to do so basically upgrade and also just to you know uh the verbos right so cd gdpr helper so we we are inside it and now we are also installing all the required libraries and modules okay with with less verbos okay and you can see the updated one okay or the upgraded one so this will install it you know installing build dependencies and something something that you, that you see here right currently you see on the projects we don't see anything at this moment Okay, so create your first project now that you are here. It's time to create your first Gretel project. You don't see anything over here, right? Now, what I'm gonna do? You can see it has been done. Now let's import a couple of things. So import OS, and if not in OS dot get CWD. 
if not in OS gets uh, current working directory dot ends with I hope it ends with GDPR helper we are just doing a validation so GDPR helpers and inside this if not I think it's not I think I'm writing something wrong here guys if not OS yes now excuse me if not OS get current working array ends with GDPR helpers this looks good OS dot change directory so chtir change directory GDPR helpers excuse me GDPR helpers this makes sense let me just run this now you can see now the search pattern right what kind of data the data that we are going to explore so let me just do one thing so let me just gonna do your search so let me just write something like search patterns so it's search pattern and then we have to go inside data because we are already inside GDPR helper so you can see in this data folder we have this file so I'm gonna do just do data which is slash adventure so it is adventure works bike bind dot csv let me just do a copy path guys I can't see that so I'm just gonna do here data adventure we don't need this thing because we already have defined so that's it so buying csv so this looks okay now let me just run this so this is the data that we are looking at guys currently search pattern okay so now let's have a variable called anonymizer which will anonymize the data right so we are going to anonymize this data so i'm going to use this class so let me just do I think we have to also first import this we haven't imported yet so what I'm gonna do here from or let's do one thing uh, let's define it over here so import club and then from GDPR underscore helpers import anonymizer I hope I'm spelling it right anonymizer yeah this looks okay so we have input globe and now here we'll write our function so then I'm going to use this anonymizer class now so am a variable now let's use anon this makes sense and inside this I'm gonna just write let's create a project name for our project on this you know project name so let's keep it GDPR workflow so GDPR workflow which is my project name on this currently see we have no project here so let's keep gdpr workflow project name and then run model on cloud so i'm just going to use this parameter called run model and it should be cloud we're so going to use their cloud and then we have we need couple of yaml files so transform yes transform config which should be in this source so you can see if you come if you come down in the source here guys we have config file and in this config we have two files that we need which is synthetics.config and transforms.config now it's very important for you to understand right so, so we have there are three different steps let me just write it over here how the workflow basically let me just do one thing let me remove this click on text how this basically works the workflow setup on Gretel And this basically works like this the first is classify so in classify what we do is it set up up it set up a policy to find and label sensitive data find and label that which is for finds and then label which one to you know uh, basically redact or sanitize right or synthesize right sensitive data sensitive excuse me sensitive data that's the first one sensitive data and this can be your PII credentials blah 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 right something else credentials etc the second is transform now in the second step what it does it kind of transform it so how it's basically uh, learns how to define that policy that you have set up in the above step how to define the policy how to define the policy to label and then transform so that can be that that has to transform through different you know, techniques and you know, algorithms for example 
to transform a data for example with you know regular expression so with your re or data shifting data shifting etc etc and the last step is synthetics so synthetics is the last step where we you know generate the synthetic data guys so this is the step that on the gradle that we follow so if you want to leverage gradle gdpr helper this is how you set up the workflow so generate synthetic data so this is the workflow setup on gradle now we have a couple of files here that we need so let me just do one thing let me just come over here you know copy the work path so i'm just going to do you know uh, copy that transform config copy path transform config copy path let me just come over here i just i just don't need the complete thing i just need from src because we already in gdpr helpers this makes sense and now the next one is synthetics synthetics uh config and this is nothing but again come up come, come back here and copy this and when i copy this i think we don't need this by the way again and this looks nice so we have yaml now the end point which is that's how you connect with the cloud right uh, the greater cloud that we have so https and it should it is api dot greater and dot cloud this is what we have to do here in this thing guys so now we are what we are doing we are using this anonymizer class in this anonymizer class we are passing the project name that we want to create on the greater dashboard the dashboard that we have given and the run model is in cloud we want to leverage that and then we have two config files one is the transforms config and the other is synthetics config and then we have the endpoint which is https api.gretel.cloud now when you do this it will ask you to put your api key so let me first run this now when i run this it says anonymizer got an unexpected keyword run model it's not run model my bad it's run mode it's not a model so we are going on cloud mode so now let's me run again and when i run it again it says during handling the above exception greater api key password input may be e code cannot control e code on the terminal so i think there were some issues with my api keys guys so i have relogged into the greater dashboard okay and i have created a new api keys and we will try with that api keys right so now what i'm going to do here i'm going to run this and it asks for the greater api key so in this place you have to basically enter your api key and the api key that you will get it from the greater dashboard so now let me just do that and once i log into into it it says caching greater config to disk using endpoint api greater cloud logged in and follow along with model training at at this right so if you currently see i have no project over here and this is what i'm going to do in this case so let me just minimize this and now i'm going to just going to do for data set path so for data set underscore path in now let's look at clop at clop so globe and we're just going to look at the search pattern so in that search pattern basically we store our data set that bike data set that you see from gdpr helpers inside this data and inside this adventure works bike buying right this is the data that we have search pattern and inside this i'm just going to use am dot anomies so this is the file that i'm going to use if you see it over there so there's an example they have src and src we already have used the config file right and what i'm going to do here is anonymize so anonymize and here my data set path is nothing but the data set underscore path so this remains data set underscore path so this is what we are doing in this guys right so for data set underscore path in globe dot globe search pattern this is our search pattern if you see data adventure works bike buying csb and this is i'm just running it over here so let's do that so once i started doing it you can see it says anonymizing data adventure works bike buying csb now what it will do it will anonymize according to gdpr right the uh, the protection regulation that we have so currently it's in the transform stage as we have discussed the three steps you know the uh, the transform and then we have synthetics right so we have classify transform and synthetics in this case you can see the job is currently active now let me show you what i'm talking about this here it, it will automatically show on the dashboard in the projects now if you come over here let me just do a refresh it is still so just go back to here in this data you can see it's transform job pending it's doing it it will take a little time okay, so let me just come over here on this 
uh, projects you can see now gdpr workflow let's go inside it so now in this gdpr workflow you'll be able to track everything right so you can see it has been created 40 seconds ago this is the transform id this is the workflow gdpr transforms within this workflow gdpr workflow this is a transform step so it's completed it says now if you come back it says starting transform it transform job activity is still happening job completed you can see now it uses named entity recognition in the hood guys okay to it had to look at your whatever columns that you have wherever you can it, it can you know uh, apply named entity recognition NER that we have seen in spacey and all right earlier you can see it's currently doing that sample 100 records 24 columns processing time it's also printing it out everything transform has been finished and the column has been transformed you can see the transformed count transform type has been passed through fake data shift as we have discussed right so we have discussed about regular expression data shifting we have discussed about hashing etc you know to basically help this data to become more privacy preserving that's what we are doing in this case with greater now it will take a little time so let me just you can see now the act gang job active you now the modeling part is coming into this the synthetic step the step that we have generating generating the synthetic data that's the step we can see it over here now if i come back you will see on the gdpr workflow we have two things our gdpr transforms has been successfully completed now you can see the tabular act gan okay some kind of gan that model has been used under hood if you go inside it you'll be able to see you know training has been happening you know it started one minute ago processing this data set these are the data set that it has processed these are some 21st records you can see it over here looks fascinating isn't it you can see the creating synthetic model you can find out find out all the logs you can see the schema version the model name the models their privacy filters like outliers which is automatic the similarity which is auto so it has to look at the columns and then it has to look at that what similar it can generate right similar uh, rows that it can generate the values that inside that row then we have data sources this is data source that we are using adventure works bike buying transform data csv and you can have a look at that parameter the embedding dimension the generator dimension the discriminator dimensions right the generator part and the discriminator part the evaluation metric etc everything has been identified and the training epoch has been completed so it will take little time guys you can you can completely track it over on this dashboard you can also see similar on this collab notebook as well you can see the entire step so what i will do i'll pause the video it will take around five to seven minutes depending on the length of your data once it gets completed i will resume the video from there guys so now you can see guys our anonymization has been completed it says data has been anonymized and synthetic data is stored to artifacts adventure work works by buying synthetic data csv and anonymization report is stored to you know artifacts and for example right so let me just click on this artifacts and you can see it your things here right so let me just download these things so when i download it i'll keep it on desktop guys so this is a report because this is an html document and if you download on this one sorry excuse me i downloaded from the wrong data so i'll just cancel it this one it will take a little time to download that you can see the synthetic data adventure works bike buying synthetic data that's the data we wanted to synthesize and generate right and let me also download this so they will have three files you know so it will basically keep three files in the artifacts the transform data the synthesized data and also the report so let me just save it over here now you can see we have saved all these files and you can see the verbose the logs everything over in this collab notebook now if you come over here you will see the tabular act GAN has been completed and you can see it basically says you know uh, two minutes ago completed gdpr transforms completed if you click on this you can also find everything here you can track it out you can see the generate was there you can also click generate and click it from there you can see the quality score the quality score of the data that has been generated the privacy protection level is good in this case and make sure you know to also explore the paid version if you want to utilize the paid version of it okay they have you know a premium as well you can uh, uh, basically leverage more features there i guess now you have additional downloads we have this gif file i guess if you click on this it will download as well you can also download it from here so you can see i believe it's a yeah it's a gif file so let me just keep it in a download file i'm not so we already have downloaded 
So here you can see that right everything has been tracked the model type act can cloud completed training time it took around nine minutes but it makes sense right because it has to do a lot of things over there and then we have additional downloads so let me just go back to models and this you can see that two work so in in this GDPR workflow we have two models tabular act can and GDPR transforms now if I come back on the deck desktop you can see over here adventure bike synthetic data. Let me open that for you guys. So this is the data that we have, you know, generated. Okay, so Miss Stephanie, you know, first name and the middle name and the last name. If you come back over here in the bike buyer, you can see the total records. I think it's around more than 16,000. Okay, more than 16,000 of records has been synthesized, anonymized according to GDPR regulations, guys. This is what we need you know to work with privacy preserving ai algorithms that's how you look at you know to uh, if it comes to gdpr and ccpa there right so this this makes sense now let me just do one thing as well for you let me come back here in this data this is the data that we have taken let me just download this data so i click on this it will take a little time let me just save this on desktop i'm just going to save this on desktop i'm going to open this now you can see, let me just come back over here, you can see the similarities, I just want to show you the first name, middle, everything remains the same, it has been transformed, it has been anonymized wherever required, so these are the algorithm that works, you know, under the hood guys, named entity recognition, okay, you can see everything over here, okay, in this data, now you can leverage this data, Okay, and you can train some kind of NLP engine, recommendation, machine learning model, whatever required, whatever you want to do with the data, whatever task that has been assigned to you, you can do that. Now this one, so in the next video, what we can also do guys, we can compare the machine learning model performance on the synthetic data and this real data. We we'll like to compare with the evaluation metric, right? What kind of, you know, uh, performance changes that we see. We will do that in the next uh, to, uh, video guys. So if you see, this is what I wanted to do in this video programmatically that how we can, you know, anonymize data, generate synthetic data with, you know, with Gretel AI. And you can see it over here, the Gretel workflow. So I hope you, you know, like the video. All the resources will be given in the uh, YouTube video description, like the Colab notebook, the GitHub repositories, the Gretel console or the dashboard a link, and also the GDPR helpers GitHub repository and all the data also. I say everything will be given. You know, let me know if you are extending this further or if you have any other use cases that, you know, you're exploring uh, yeah, synthetic data generation using, you know, generative AI, for example. This is what I wanted to do in this video, guys. I hope you like the video. If you if you like the video, if you like the content, please hit the uh, thumbs up icon there. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, guys, please do subscribe the channel and, you know, also share that, uh, share the channel and the video to your friends and to peer. So more f content will be, you know, uh, published. Uh, in generative AI, large language models, and also the classical, uh, all things AI guys in general. So there will be a lot of contents coming up. Okay, and mainly end-to-end -end projects will, uh, I'm also planning end-to-end -end projects how I can create videos from uh, data pre-processing to model deployments, end-to-end -end, uh, videos for that. I also have some suggestions from you guys, the subscribers, and I'm currently working on those videos. Once those videos are done, I'll tag you. Uh, of course, in those videos that have been requested that I'm currently working on. So I hope you like the content. You know, please subscribe the channel, guys. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.